Hey guys, and welcome to the Larry Scott Memorial Trail. Let's go take a ride. So this is basically a seven mile, pretty popular dirt gravel road. It's located near Port Townsend. And it's a multi-use trail for bikes and hikers and walkers and equestrian. And it's used both direction and it's the physical rating is pretty easy. And the elevation gain, you're looking about 322 feet, which isn't bad at all. It's a very slight grade. And the direction we're going from is from the Four Corners area to Port Townsend. So we're starting off at the Milo Curry Trailhead. And we're going to end up at the port of Port Townsend. And we're going to go a little bit further. We're going to add a couple miles to it and go all the way through downtown and basically to the end of Port Townsend. Just cause. Maybe get a little bit of lunch. But what we're riding on is an old railroad bed that uh, they converted into a trail. And this railroad bed is uh, pretty cool, man. Like the rich history here. They started building the railroad in 1887-ish and the railroad is actually called the Port Townsend Southern Railroad Company. But what struck me is, well, there's some routes, so do be aware that there are a couple of routes, but besides that, it's mostly super smooth. And what struck me that's never struck me before is riding any type of path or off-road or anything like that or even road riding is parts of this trail are so incredibly smooth that it brought it to my attention how smooth it was and that's never happened on a trail or any type of riding surface I've ever rode upon so I found that to be quite outstanding and monumental. So uh, if you ever get on this trek, perhaps you can um, experience the same thing. However they maintain this roadbed and keep it up is immaculate. So kudos out for all, everybody involved. You know, Larry Scott himself, uh, he was a cyclist, which is pretty interesting. You know, he left an impression on Jefferson County, you know, a legacy for residents for generations to come. You know, he first just started, um, he had an interest in it, and then later it became a chair of the uh, advisory board. And... You know, him and a small group of dedicated cyclists, you know, they would meet for recreational riding throughout the Olympic Peninsula. And yeah, they got together with community and agencies and governments and made it all happen. So, yeah, you do have to watch out for the occasional horse droppings. And hopefully the people with their dogs, they clean up after that. So, yeah, there are a few little landmines to watch out for. And... I believe going out there was like four kind of, I call them major ascents, you know, they're uphill, but they're nothing real steep by no means. I mean, the grade is really mellow, actually. There is one descent, though, you do have to kind of watch out for as it does descend into an intersection. You will cross a few roads. This road right here is the Cape George Road. And the stents alongside the roads are very short, you know, but uh, it's not that bothersome. And then it immediately goes right back off into the woods. You know, the 
the flora and fauna here is so diverse and beautiful with the evergreens and and the hardwoods and this is October 30th 2020 that I'm recording this and October's kind of you know from now until a couple months March or so kind of fickle to get a uh, good sunny days but it was this was a nice day even though the wind was a bit blustery but the diverse topography the canopy and the foliage beautiful a few openings a large equestrian presence you know you'll go buy some horse farms which is pretty neat right here is uh, I guess it's highway or state road 20 and the trail actually turns into blacktop versus our super smooth quiet fun succulent uh, roadbed from the railroad which we're going to join back here pretty quick. You know, there's a few places with some really fine gravel. There's a lot of trails that kind of intertwine with this path also. So really interested in exploring. It'd be really easy to get out and explore. And right here, like for example, there's some single track to the right that follows the path looks like it could be some fun but again be mindful of runners and pedestrians and whoever's out here so we're going to be coming up on the Port Townsend paper mill big industry here which is the largest employer of Jefferson County and the largest recycler on the Olympic Peninsula, recycling one third of all the cardboard in Washington State. Pretty wild. So they say they uh, produce 325,000 tons annually. And they said they're exceeding the environmental standards and supporting the community. Let's hope that, uh, you know, they're righteous with that. But. This place has been going since 1927, so it's got a pretty rich history also. And here's the sound. Which Port Townsend was deemed Port Townsend by Captain George Vancouver in 1792 for his friend, the Marcus of Townsend. It was immediately recognized as a good safe harbor, although the strong south winds that happened sometime and uh, poor holding grounds often made small craft anchorage plop problematic off the town's waterfront, which we will be going by here shortly. We're a little against the wind. I think it was blowing out of the west, northwest a little. So we're still kind of blocked and sheltered, but it was blustery. In the summertime I went, came by here and the clarity of the water on this side of the bay, the time I was out here was amazing. Port Townsend was also called the dream, the city of dreams because the early speculation that the city would be the largest harbor on the west coast of the United States, guarding the gate of the Puget Sound. It would become known as its southern nickname, the Key City. Eh, may or may not be true, but we'll enter here into the boat yard, which some of these boats are incredible. Incredible, super neat. There's quite the variety of vessels that dock here. Very flavorful. So if you're a boat enthusiast, man, you get a little bit of everything here. 
commercial to elegant to bizarre to well crafted. Yes, one of the more unique boatyards I've ever seen as far as the diversity of watercraft and vessels. To me, it's uh, super cool and entertaining just to look at them all. Boats to me are artwork, just the lines and the design and yeah, the marinas here are busy and huge part of the economy for the town. And for the sailors alike, I mean, it's a, like they said, it's a big port of call for many. So for lunch, there's plenty of places to eat, cool little shops, neat little restaurants. But I'm going to head over here to the co-op to grab a bite. And I didn't realize as I was pedaling in, it's like, oh, here's the bike rack. They had a couple of them, but lo and behold, this is discrimination. This is for cargo bikes. Not just a regular bike, your cargo bike go there. So <laughs> we went in and there's actually outside a little eating place. The wind's blowing and unlock the bike and we're gonna have a little bite to eat and carry on. And from here we're at sea level, so might as well go on into town. I'm not a big roadie, but just can't avoid driving on the road. But to drive on the road, this has actually quite uh, quite some room. The, the width of the bike path is, is plenty. We just went by the ferry that goes over to, I believe, Seattle, perhaps. Or a couple other destinations. Busker doing his thing. That's cool. And Port Townsend's really neat little town. They got some cool theaters. There's actually a a little underground Port Townsend too. It's right there to the left. That little canopy on to the left. They got some underground shops there. And that same street has an old theater, which uh, I've been to a couple times. And they actually come out. Somebody stands in front of you and tells you a little bit about the movie. And you can order um, some adult beverages if you like, some spirits and food. Enjoy the show. A lot of craftsmanship goes on here. It's a real artsy little seafront town. I have all kind of events and gatherings, and there's a. Uh, some type of wooden boat school right up here to the right. And this is basically the uh, the corner of Port Townsend. But I would give this trail an A+. Plus. If you ever get the opportunity, check the weather and make a day out of it. It's quite enjoyable. And this is the ride out, so it's about nine miles, and the ride back to me, even though it's an out and back, is just as beautiful and every bit of engaging. I really enjoyed it. So thanks a lot, guys. And until next time, Peace out.